everyone, it's Jackie. So I know I haven't been here in a while. It says life goes on. So I got these little sacks from um, when I did my Grove order. I saw these and they're just, um, you know, paper snack and sandwich bags and they're unbleached. And um, I thought, well, maybe those would really be nice. And so I just opened it up, and so this is what it looks like, you know, a regular old bag. But I thought these were really nice for a bunch of stuff. Um, you know, just so many things you could use this for. So I thought I would just put together a little, um, a little journal type thing to stick in a, to stick in with a, a journal, a big journal. So I just sewed around the outside and I'm gonna leave, you could cut this off, you know, you could do whatever you want here, but um, I'm gonna leave this open so it can be a pocket for me to stick something in there, you know, in the front, a little tag or a journaling card or something like that. And then we'll do this. So I thought I might do the, the inside. And that is pretty, that's gonna fit somewhere in there. Um, this is a freebie from, is this a freebie? Oh, I don't know. It, it, it appears to me it's antique papery because that is, you know, a good one. Okay, so this needs to be, let me grab my ruler. Um, I'm gonna do it in two pieces so it doesn't bump right there. And actually I am going to strengthen that with a little masking tape. And I think I'll, you know, I'll um, ink it up and, and I think it'll be fine as far as, as far as a color. Okay, this is like the worst masking tape. I can't find a masking tape that does not do this splitting off thing and it drives me crazy. I had to mess with it yesterday. It was like, look it, see what it's doing? It's like tearing off the bottom sticky layer. What is going on with this? Ugh, this is so annoying. Well, maybe it's not going to get any. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, why is it doing that? If you guys know of a better masking tape to get, I mean, see, and now it's ripping on this side. This is, I don't know, IPG, Intertape Polymer Group. I don't know, but... You know, it was the one on the shelf. It was like the best one. <sighs> okay, this is yucky. You know what? We're not going to use masking tape because I don't feel like dealing with it. So let's see if we have a piece of, well, there's a piece of sorry silk that would be pretty. Uh, do I have any pieces of muslin in my messy drawer over here? Not that I couldn't get one because I do have it everywhere. Okay, I guess not. Um, I'm not sure how much Sorry Silk is going to actually help strengthen this, but I don't know, but it'll be pretty, right? So I have, yeah, so I just finished a project, so I have a bunch of scraps hanging around, and so that's what I'm gonna work with. I've got like a bunch here, just things that I printed, I did a little, um, avocado dyeing. It's just barely pink, which is kind of nice. And then I have a whole bunch of other papers left over from the project I was doing. So, um, <clears throat> I did end up getting some Fabrifix. And of course, I the first time I opened it and used it, I've lost the cover. I don't know where it is. It's probably somewhere on this messy desk. So, I've been without a cover for a while. And I mean, it does get it does get all dried on the tip, so you know you have to kind of mess with it a little bit. But it hasn't been that bad. And I probably will, because later today I have got to do clean up my desk. Yikes! I have can't I can't do I can't do just this little space. I can't do it. I I need I need more room than that. <laughs> I know people do, but mm, I mean, I can get messy, but after a project, I want to 
do a cleaning up. All right, so. Um, Light it. It is more of a problem than I anticipated. Sorry about that. So what have y'all been up to? Anyway, well, I unclog this glue. Sheltering in place. I don't really go anywhere. I, um, just see the kids, my little daycare kiddos, and uh, just my just my family right now, pretty much. And but so it's um, we're having a few cases now. Not too many a few. <clears throat> oh, come on. Still. Still getting nothing out of here. Oy, oy, oy. Sorry, I should have messed with this beforehand. Just a little. That's not... Well, that might be okay for Sorry Silk, though, huh? Yeah, it might be. Let's see. It probably is. No, <laughs> nothing. It's not going to do anything. Never mind. We'll just move on to our glitter glue. Should have just gone with this before. Oh, well, it's like this is clogged up too. Holy moly. Glue difficulties. So I hope you and your family are all staying well and I'm just gonna smooth that out so we don't get any clumps on the sorry silk. Oh and hope you're doing some crafting. Today is we've had a little bit of rain this week. It hasn't been I mean it's been overcast. That's what it's been, and it rains here and there. So you get little dribbles here and there, you get whatever but it hasn't really rained enough to get the water table up where it needs to be. Not yet, anyway. All right, we'll just cut this off here. I might leave a little bit to, uh, you know, to fray a little here on the bottom and on the top. Still, still lining up okay. Not really. Gotta come down a little bit there. Hmm. What's going on? Right there. Okay. All right. So then, see, and now I've put this pin down, and it's gone. I duped my friend Angela Kerr that I watch a whole lot. She's great. Um, she puts a, like a hair tie around here and stabs her pin into it, which I thought was a great idea, but have yet to do that. All right, I'm going to get my paper cutter over here. And then we're going to see what we need. So this is going to be, I'm going to go, let's see, three and three quarter should be fine. Give you a little edge, and is this, this about the same? Um, yep. Okay, so that's six and a half. So I need it six and a half, and then we'll, oh, how tall? That would be a good thing to measure. Um, so we'll do this six, and we'll leave, we'll leave a quarter of an inch on the sides. Okay, six and six and a half. Um, so this way is going to be six. Okay. And this way is going to be six and a half. 
So let me see, what do I want to cut? I want to cut those pretty flowers. Um, actually, I'm going to cut a teeny bit right there because there's a little, there's a little white hanging out there. So I'll we'll just cut that a little bit on that side. There, now we'll go to six and a half over here. And we'll cut that off. That's a good scrap. And then we're going to go to three and a quarter. And if I haven't messed up my calculations, <clears throat> which is, you know, that's always a possibility, this should go right on here. Very nicely. Very nicely. Could have been a little wider, though. I measured it at... Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Whenever I remeasure, it seems to grow. It's, it's like three and three quarters, and I cut it out three and a quarter. Okay. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. yeah. All right. So let's ink this a little bit before we stick those down at the end of, of this little video. If we have time, I'll show you the project that I've been doing. It's not quite finished in that I haven't added all of the um, tags, uh, but I'm going to, it was fun. It took the whole week and Angela did five different videos. She's a great teacher. If you, if you haven't watched her, you need to go and do that. Angela Kerr. If you just, um, you know, look for her on Etsy, you'll you'll find her. Or on um, YouTube. Or just, you know, just Google her. She's there. She's a very good teacher. Nice, quiet voice and just very sweet. Yep, she's doing a whole envelope series. I think she's up to exciting envelope number 23 or something. Yeah, she just keeps coming up with them, little variations. Okay, good. Now we're going to ink up this bag. Oh, that takes the ink pretty well. It's not like, um, it doesn't have like a shiny surface at all. So it's, it's more just like a paper, kind of like the um, painter's tape. A big roll of brown paper you can get. It's kind of like that. But I do want a little more on here, I guess. I to bring my book over. That might be an easier way to do it because it's so thin right around there. And I do like my ink. I do like to ink things up. Okay. Looks good. Oops, keep that over here. All right, so what do we have here? This needs to go like this. So let's put some glue on this guy. Oh, there's my pin. I knew it was around here somewhere. If I can find them, Annie, I've used most of my hair ties for closures. Holy catfish, I can't get this in here. There we go. Shoo. Sometimes that is a struggle, isn't it? Getting that darn pin back in the bottle. Oh, and that's good. We play, I go over usually after dinner to see her for a little bit and we play a game called Aggravation. I think I've mentioned this way back in some videos. So she's back and we're playing some Aggravation and that's always fun. And it's so funny the way things come out. She's so with it. I mean, she's 93 and she is with pretty, you know, she's with it. She's playing that game. She's beating me. Last night we played no, well, Thursday night we played six games and I just was exhausted so I didn't stay to play. We call it a rubber match. I did not stay to play the rubber match. So she had won three and I had won three. So last night I went over and the first thing we did was play the rubber match. And I won the rubber match. So then we played it in groups of three games. And so she won two, I won one. And then in the end, the next three games, I won two and she won one. So we were again tied at three and three. So we had a rubber match and she won. She won the rubber match. It's fun. We laugh and get silly and, you know, it's fun. All right, that is a little bit crooked. I think I, 
trying to cut the paper from me, but all right, so this is going to be a little flimsy journal, but I, I love the, the crinkliness, right? I love the crinkliness. Okay. Um, probably I should have put that on some kind of cardstock. What do you guys buy for cardstock? I, I never know. I can't, I want some like craft cardstock, but when I go to look for it, it's really hard to tell what color it's going to be. And I don't want like, um, tan colored, you know, I don't want that. I want the dark color. And I, so I am learning to, another thing, Angela has great tips and things. Um, so this is going to go this way, but that's not going to be good for there. Um, and so I've been playing around with resizing things, learning how to do borderless print on my printer. Yep. So, shall we use, this is going to be too small, that's the rip-off from that. We could use this on here, though. Um, let's see. I love this, little flowers here. And then I'll show you what we're going to do about that right there. Okay, so... Let's do it right this time. Yep, three and three quarters. Okay. So we're gonna do this three and three quarters by six. Correct? Yes. Correct. Okay, get under there. Three and three quarters by six. So this has to be eight. And we're gonna go this way. Three and three quarters. Get it right this time, Jackie. Come on now. Okay. And I think we'll cut another one for the back, just like that. So three and three quarters. Just easy. Easy, easy. And then we'll do the, the decorating of the, you know, the most of the fun. My, my first stickles ever. And I got a couple different colors. So that will be fun to use those. Find, I think that's better for me than using the pearls and little things I see other people using. I, I think I would get frustrated with those little things, trying to get them in the right place and all. So, hear that motorcycle go by with its radio blasting. Yeah. Okay. This way, this is the front. All right. On here, and what I'm going to do I think I'm gonna put. I think I'm gonna put this on a, a another heavier piece of paper if I can find one. Do I want to just put it on an envelope? No, I don't want another pocket. Okay, let me see if I can find a little piece of something that will strengthen that up. Let me get into my scraps. Got papers over here. Let's see. Not you. Not you. Okay. Uh, let's see. This will strengthen it up a little bit. This side got a little toasty, <laughs> but it's okay. All right, so let's do it on there. But we can't do it too much bigger. This is we could do a little wee bit bigger. We'll see. Let's get it over to the, just off of the fold. Oh, pencil. And then we'll go, we'll just, and we'll just go in a little bit. 
Okay, back to the cutter. I know that's a little over. But... Oh, everything is so damp in this house. Oh, that's not even going to be around it. Just be on the back. That's okay. That's okay. We're just going to strengthen that cover up. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, so much to do today. I was up very early. I was thinking about things. So I've got my house vacuumed. Not cleaned, mind you, but it is vacuumed. <laughs> and I have to do a kitchen cleanup. And then uh, when it gets, when lawn gets dry, I need to go out and mow my lawn and do a little trimming around and that kind of thing because that's gotten out of hand because it's just been, you know, raining off and on. So, okay, that I think is good. So I'll cut that off. I won't worry about inking that because the back is not going to show. we did here. Okay. I was thinking with this, and I might not even, I might just put a little notch here so you can see that there's a place for that. Let's, I think that would be good. Do you suppose I can get a little notch in the middle somewhere here? Whoops. This long, if it's not right on, it's not right on. And it's not. <laughs> oh, that's okay. All right, I think I'm going to just go in here and do a little of this. Right in there. Okay, uh, I think we can use just plain old glue stick on this. This smells coffee, coffee-ish. Same amount on the top and on the bottom. Getting that straight. I'm taking my time more, I think, with especially on videos. I decided I try to go too fast on videos because I try to only do like 40 minutes at the most. And there, that's gonna be cute. You know, it's so damp in here from just the humidity and stuff. Everything is like, ugh. All right, so um, you have to be careful though because on this, I did glue that right there, so you have to be careful you don't actually glue that down. I should have been more aware of that. And, yeah. And why aren't you gluing down right there? Get you down there. Get them off. That, oh, that gave it that gave it a little more heft, but I would like to do the back. So let me see if I have another piece of something. Oh, I love that. That should go somewhere. Isn't that a gorgeous piece? <laughs> That's a piece that I crinkled all up and then, you know. Uh, let's see. Oh, there must be another piece of heavyweight paper. Um, it's not real heavy, but it would probably work. But is it big enough? Um, <laughs> yeah, meant to be kind of situation right there. Okay. Yep. 
meant to be. I don't know why I'm turning that over, but it's a little bit smaller than, than our piece of paper, but it's not that much. It's just a smidge, so I'm not going to worry about that at all. of the paper off because it is a little bigger than I wanted. Okay. I don't know if I inked on the back of here. I don't know if I did. Don't you just love the crinkliness of this? This would be a great project because you could do like three or four of these up, sew them or glue them, whatever, so they're, well, you wouldn't even have to glue it. I just sewed it because, um, but you could do that and then just grab some papers and things and do a TV watch and put your papers in. Um, oh, this way, please. This bugs me a little bit, but the papers are going to be in there. Oh my gracious sakes. This is the front. See how bad? Oh, what a naughty. Look what I did. I bet I can peel this back off, though. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Let's see. I thought that was my front. It is my... Oh, wait a minute. Why am I being... Yeah, yeah, I did put it on upside down. Oh, yeah, yoy. Well, good thing I only use glue stick because pretty much you can tear in some of the paper off, but we're going to cover it right back up, so it doesn't matter. Oh, gracious. Okay, so it needs to go this way. Oh, man, and now I have a kaflooey thing on this side. What are we going to do? Let's think about this a minute. Um, we'll cover that up with some lace or something, I guess, probably. That would work. Yes. No, but that's still going to be the back. This is going to be the front over here. Oh, man. All right. And this is going to be the back, and that's where the pocket's going to be. Okay. figure that out before I put a whole bunch of stuff on there. I check that because I do that a lot. Things can get turned around so, so easily, you know? It's, all right, I'm just gonna double check before I put this on here. That's the front, everybody's right side up. This is right side up, okie doke. Let's just put this on here again. I'm going to go a little closer to this edge here. Is that good? I hope mowing along goes a little better than this. We just put some lace right here. Be all good. You can always fix it. All right. Now, this guy needs to go like this. And he isn't going to quite cover all that up, but Remember, let's just give this a little bit of ink. This feels so wet. I'm telling, it's just that humidity is so, in my old house, it's, <laughs> you know, everything sticks, the floors are sticky, oh, but I'm, I love the warm weather though. I like all the seasons, really. I love going into fall and things, but uh, snow and cold do not excite me at all. You know, the snow and the cold, no, not so much. All right. Again, 
I just want to make sure that stays open. So maybe we'll put this piece on here. Oh, that is gonna be my front. No, it, yeah, that is the front, but not the pocket front. See how I've confused myself? Oh my gracious, that's stuck down in there. I really wanna use a little piece of this because it's just cool. Too bad it wasn't straight on the other side, huh? Because it does not go that way. No. This is when I crinkled up and then put ink on it. And you could do that. I bet you could do that with one of these, too. We'll have to try that. All right. Where do we want to put a little piece of this? Maybe just right along the back of there. And it'll help reinforce our pocket. Um, but I think I'm going to tear a little bit of it because... I want to use some a little somewhere else so it's not the only place it is. I hate to because I really like the shape of this. But. The other thing I will probably do to this is Mod Podge over it because then you've got dry and then I gotta trim it a little bit. Oh I love that. And then we're gonna put a little piece of this somewhere in here. I'm going to rip it here, too. And we're going to put a little piece right there. Just so we have a couple little pieces of interest. Go over a little bit more towards there. Okay, and how about this guy? Um, thinking maybe up there. Now we're supposed to have three of this and that and the other, but that's okay. I'm just going to do... Do you want to bring it over there? Yeah, I'll bring it over that way a little bit. It's not in the way of anybody. Okay, that's good. Now, let's put... How, how far am I? I'm probably up to like... Oh dear, I can't see. I can't see. Um, 33? Oh, that's not so bad. Okay. All right, so now... Um, go down there. I think we're going to put a pocket in here. And do... Man, I am, well, I'm going to cut this off anyway. <sighs> it's just not my day. I'm going to have to go out and mow. Just give up on the crafting today. Okay. That's good, right? I do like that ripped edge. I'm going to just rip this edge a little bit. Over. Okay, whoops, you gotta cut that a little bit because it's 
folding into our space. There, and that will be that little pocket right there. I think we'll use some, a little bit of glitter glue on here. First, we're gonna glue down that piece. A little bit. I, kind of, I tend to like to see the bottom of the paper for some reason. I don't like to go right to the bottom. I don't know. It's just me. It's, it's the way I like it. Okay. We are going to can't really use these. They're not the right color. But boy, those butterflies are pretty. Do you want to put those on there? I think, I'll, I think I'm going to fussy cut one of these out. A kind of a plain one. Let's put this one here on the bottom. It's really a little bit hard to see with that light color, but I love that pale yellow. It's going to match up with that nicely. I'm not doing a terrific job with the fussy cutting. I hadn't really planned on doing any fussy cutting, but you know, that's what you do. Um, yep, goodbye little antennas. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's getting to be <clears throat> monarch season around here. Um, our poor monarchs were dying out. If you listen to my videos from last fall, you'll probably hear me talking about it. But I've had a couple around. I let my milkweed grow. That's what they like to eat, and that's what they lay their eggs on. So I've had, I just recently, like Thursday, had a couple around, and I think I see eggs, but it's they're so minuscule, it's, it's really hard to tell. And um, I always grab the caterpillars when they... I see them and I bring them in and give them some nice milkweed and some st things, sticks to, to grow their, do their chrysalis on. Or I put a screen over a fish tank, that's how I do it. And they usually crawl up and are on the, the fish tank, cover the screen. So I can take the screen off and I can pop it right up on my, um, right up on my ceiling so we get to see them hatch and the kids love it it's fun so i just got the all these little things from g kerr um she just did a new one they're, they're really nice and i um <clears throat> i put them backed them on some card and then i it's actually not card it's old um scrapbook paper that I don't wouldn't ever use and it's you know it is thick thick scrap of paper so it made this a little thick and I kind of like that and she loves butterflies and there's a little butterfly okay we need a little something under there oh hang on hang on I got something else today from my grow border I'm looking for things Oh, and this is some fun packaging, too. Look at this packaging. Won't that be fun to do something with? So this is cheesecloth I got from them. And I, it's going to be a little bit heavier weave, oh yeah, than the one that I've been using, which is like... <clears throat> oops, a little bit of a... Holy moly, to get to the end, and that's okay card, but I don't know. So let's take a piece of this. It's got some yellow stuff going on. All right, just gonna, you know, cut a chunk out. Yeah, that's a much tighter weave than what I've been using. I certainly don't need all this, though. Let's just take that right off. 
there. And we're gonna put that down here, I think. Whoops, not die yet. Now, now I'm really tearing it apart. Um, just leave it like that, because I think that color looks nice with all of this. Before, I think. And I think I like that. Oh, we're stuck down. Yep, 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 yep. I like that. We're going to use some of this art glitter glue on here. on there. Beautiful. And then we're going to take our little butterfly. These butterflies are so pretty. Look how nicely that matched up with those colors. Awesome. And then we're going to put our little Love that. Look at that, how nicely that just goes. I mean, she did, um, there's all different colors. There's green ones. There are those. There are the yellow rose ones. There are blue ones. And yeah, more blue ones. Just really pretty ones. Those color. And just all kinds of words. I mean, there's a ton of them. Yep. Okay, so I like that. How are we doing with the pocket here? Pocket is good. Okay, good. All right, so then we're going to have the front and this and some cards to put in. So I'm going to kind of stop here because I did want to show you that other project that I was working on. Okay, so these tags come from G. Kerr, and she is um, on Etsy. She's Happiness in Crafting. And the project that um, I'm going to show you is from Angela Kerr. And I lost the pin again. Oh, right there. It's hard to see. And my dangly thing that I did have in this, which helped me, is it's kind of gotten broken now. So, okay. Oh, now I might have to just move some things around here a little bit. Let's cover up the ink, put that in the ink drawer, get the glue out of here. Glue, you have a piece of stuff in here, don't you? All right. I just want to see where you're at with this. Make sure you can see all of this. I think you can. Okay, so this is what, it's an altered file folder. It is intense. It was so much fun though. I'm missing a little dangly piece here that I haven't done. So this is the front. And so there's a pocket here and there's a giant tag in there. And then there are two tags in the side. As I said, this one is not going in my shop because I wanna keep one for reference because I really enjoy doing this. It's time consuming, but, and so I'm not happy with that. It gets stuck on something right there. I'm not sure, but anyway. All right. Oh, do you see all the little details and blah, 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 and the little things? Yeah. And can you see there's some little stickles? That color, what color is that? I got the reddish one, and that one is cranberry. And I got. This one, which is Stardust. That's what I used on these butterflies. And I got one more. Where's the other one? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, here it is. Oh, nope, that's alcohol ink. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, let's just move on quickly. So here's the inside. So in this pocket, we've got this little folder. And I... I did not use a Tim Holtz one of these things. I made my own, and it was pretty easy, actually, and I'm going to make a template for myself um, because it came out really, really nice. So it has all these little little tags and goodies in here to journal on, whatever, and it has a bigger tag in the back. 
come on get in there and then you open it i thought this was so pretty too you open it up and it has a pocket on the top so there's a couple little things in there this is a little file folder i almost went oh my gosh what did i do and then there's just a little journal in here with some little things going on and another little folder in the back it says dreams of beauty and there's that and then on the back of this is another little um whoops what's going on here get it oh that's sorry i forgot how i did that. that's not how i usually do it and this has a little um a pocket in the back here which i haven't i have not stuffed him yet i forgot i did this double like that and also then in here are a couple of envelopes made with um Edith Holden pages. So that's an envelope there. And then there's this one. There, like that. Pretty. So pretty. Okay, tie you back up. There's really a lot in here. Um, just, it's a I mean, any one of these little things would be a great gift to send to someone. Um, but the whole thing would be like, uh, I don't know, like a Christmas gift. They could use this for, who knows, a couple months to journal in. So then this page is really fun. So it's three envelopes here. So here's the first one. It opens like that. It needs a card in here. There's a pocket. Here's the next envelope. And it's open in here for a tag. And there's another tag over here. So, and then you could do more something on this side if you wanted to. And then this one um, opens like this and it has a couple of tags in here and then it will have something in that pocket right there. And then this page opens like this. So there are three tags here in this pocket. There's a tag here. And there can be a tag also here. I love this page and I didn't want to lose this part by covering it up. So I just printed another one and made it um, kind of go together. It was a little smaller. And then this is here in the back. And this is a little ephemera folder, which I don't have anything in. But you can store some goodies in there for someone to use throughout the rest of this. And so that's fun. This was super fun. I really, really loved it. Um, I had a great time making it. And um, it's, it's intense and it's a little, for my brain, it was a little bit, um, you know, it was a little bit, I had to go back and watch her a few times doing some of it. So, so you could put something here. There's nothing on the back. The back is Mod Podge as well as the front. I especially love these envelope pieces, which you don't need to use an envelope. You could use paper to do this. But so Angela has a whole, you know, five part, six part, seven, maybe seven part series on this. Lots of fun. And then this will get tied completely with a, another ribbon. So that's fun. All right, my friends, um, I will see you again soon, I promise. And stay well. And I'm off to mow my lawn. Have a great day.